What is going on everybody? It is Nuch here, just here to remind you that if you are enjoying the content to leave a like and a comment on the video. Also if you want to make sure you never miss anything make sure to subscribe and if you want to get all the latest information on what's going on on the channel and to get in touch you may follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll speak to you in the video. Hello guys, what is going on? I hope you're all well and welcome to the latest episode of our Leicester City career mode on FIFA 15. I'm not sure what number this is now. Six, maybe seven. I'm, I'm losing track with all the series that are going on, and they're all on a sort of different number, so I'm losing track very quickly of what's uh, what number I'm on on each one. But today we've got two games for you. The first of which is a pretty big game, Man United at home. It's going to be a tricky one. This is, and then we face um, Norwich City. I think it is in the Capital One Cup after that. So I'll bring you both those games in today's episode. In the last episode, if you missed it, I'll go and recommend you check that out because it was a really good episode. Um, not going to give anything away just yet. I'll leave you, give you a second to go back and watch it. So hang on. You got five. Four, three, two, one. So, spoiler alert now, if you haven't seen that episode, we actually beat Stoke 2-1 in a fantastic comeback to get our first three points on the board. I say spoiler alert, alert, you could probably see right there, look, we've got three points. It's obvious that we won in that game, so, yeah, that was a bit foolish of me. But, yeah, we've got our first three points, really good win, and I'm hoping we can continue that form today in this game against Man United. So, we're going to jump in there now. This is the team that we're going to be going with, exactly the same team that did well against Stoke for me. Uh, Albrighton was impressive in that right mid position and Nick Powell's been doing really well. He shouldn't really be playing because he's a Man United player obviously and he's online. But you know what? Stuff it. He's playing and we're going to jump into the game now. So I'll speak to you in a second. Here we are then, back at the King Power Stadium, and this is arguably our biggest game so far here at the King Power, because when I think we played uh, when we played Chelsea, I believe we were away, if I remember correctly, so this is the biggest game that the King Power has hosted so far. You can see they're Man United second in the league at the moment, doing really well, we're just back down here in 60th place, but out of the relegation zone, which is what matters, if we can even pick up a, a point here, I think that would be pretty reputable, uh, they seem to be playing a pretty strong team from... Uh, the kit selection screen Falco was on there, so it doesn't look like the rest in anymore. We're about to find out. In fact, I'll skip that, can it? Will it show the teams City. there? I think it should show the teams now. Uh, There's the Falco, yeah, straight up that. I can see Matter there as well. So, clearly not, not resting people. That was the thing on FIFA 14. Sometimes the bigger uh, teams had rest players against it. But there's our lineup, as you've already seen. Rajoa leading the line in behind him with uh, Drinkwater and Powell, then Knockout, all brought in on the wings. Can be so in the middle, then the usual defence with Clash Bushmark up in between the sticks. Come on, come on. I just want to see the Man United line up. There we go. Falco, are they up on Wilson? Matter, Carrick, Fletcher, Blint, Shaw, Jones, Rojo, Rafael Lind. It is actually a reserve team, despite the fact that Parker's in there. There's no De Gea, there's no Rooney, there's no Di Maria, there's no... I don't know, I'm running out of people, but that is a reserve team. So fingers crossed, as they've taken so lightly, we can punish them for that and pick up some points. Let's do this. Might at this. No, no, resist, resist. Joe's there. First time on the turn. And again. Oh, Joe. That was a chance. Oh, God, it's a corner. No way the defender got his head there. That's fantastic defending, to be fair. That was a great chance for Joe there. So that is half time, and he's nil nil. Uh, United have probably been the dominant team in possession, but we've had some good chances, particularly that one at the end of half time, at the end of the first half, sorry. And we've probably been equal to them. I mean, you can see there, yeah, that says it all, doesn't it? Exactly what I've just said. They've had more possession, but we've both had three shots, one on target, and this game could be going either way at the moment. So fingers crossed we can keep this up, and you never know what could happen here. Let's keep this up. So we've reached half time, and Oh, God, that was a nice turn inside. He's sold me there. Oh no, I'm Falco. <sighs> Christ, that's the closest they've come. Thank God that was Wilson. Oh God, another run past him. I could have got a good foot in there. Oh God, there's a lot of bodies around here for them to go towards. Oh no, no, no. I could feel it coming. 1 0 down. They're both on the big guns and they've gone 1 0 up. They've been so much better in the second half. We've not done a lot, to be honest. And I think it's Ander Herrera that scored for them. Still time left, hopefully we can get something out of this still, but damn. But we're doing well as well. Come on, can we get straight through the middle? Oh, come on, come on Vardy, come on. Come on, they're going to have to take it now. Oh, what a save. Oh, he's done, mate. Is it a penalty? Yeah. Jinked away from me. Herrera, you've been a thorn in my side in this game. Was it Herrera? I don't know. Panther. Oh God, I don't think it was. After all, this is going to put it to bed, though. But looks like Falke to step up. This is disappointing. That 
we've played so well in this game again. Just unlucky not to come out with something. Although, if I save this penalty, that's wishful thing. I'm not going to save this penalty, I might it's Falco. No, 2 0 Man United. Very frustrating game, really, because we've had chances, especially at the end of the first half, and even at 1 0 there, we know Vardy had that one where it was a decent save by Lindegaard, but. It's going to be a loss. It's a game I didn't really expect to get anything. I said at the start to put with a bit of bonus and we're just going to have to pick ourselves up and move on. So there it is. Full time. We lose 2-0 unfortunately. I mean we dealt really well in the first half but as soon as we started bringing on the big guns we started to struggle a bit more and it was uh, Ander Herrera that made the difference in the end. He put away that goal to make it 1-0 to them. After that, we could have perhaps got a draw when Vardy had that chance where Lindegaard made a good save, but they were always in control of that game in the second half particularly. And yeah, we could have perhaps maybe deserved a draw, but on balance of the play, you can see there, look, they really stepped up in the second half. So we need to move on now. We've got Norwich in the Cup next, and hopefully we can get a win there. So after that disappointing defeat to Manchester United at the King Power Stadium, we now have another game at home, but this time it is a cup game against Norwich City game that we should be looking to win. We are, of course, using the cup team. I've had a couple of changes to it. There are people like David Nugent have been bought in, Vardy starting, and Taylor Fletcher all getting starts that haven't played for us really before and not been given the chance. I'm hoping Nugent can do something to uh, perhaps throw his hat in the ring to start in the league because we do need someone that's going to put the goals in. Joe has had a decent start, but... Not clinical enough for my liking, so we're going to jump into this game now against Norwich, and I'll speak to you when the game's loaded, guys. So we're uh, back at home here, the King the Power Stadium, for our Capital One Cup game against Norwich City. Like I was saying before, we're playing the Cup team, but this is still a game that we should be looking to win, and fingers City, crossed we can advance to the next round. So let's get going, people, City, and hopefully we can get through to the next round. Well, in again, he's now on the Yeah, get him my way, O'Neill. Oh, <gasps> no way. Red card after, like, three minutes? Gary O'Neill, I knew it was a foul, but I never thought that was going to be a red card. What happened? Well, right, it was from behind. But still, that's shocking. Red card after two minutes, whatever it is. And uh, if we shouldn't have been winning the game before, we definitely should be now. God, it. He's been good this season when you're coming. And he's doing well again. Get in there. Jeremy Vardy, 1-0. I was just saying he's done well this season when he's coming to the team. And he is definitely earning his place uh, in a starting 11 in the league. Because whenever he comes in, he seems to score, particularly when he starts. So I think he might have to start him in the next game, which I think is against Crystal Palace. Not the best goalkeeping by the uh, Norwich City goalkeeper, but we'll take it. 1-0 up now. Let's hope we can build on this. To the supporting player. Get a foot in, please. Jesus. Nugent. the middle. It's got to be 2 0. It is. Great finish, David Nugent. We've just put it on attacking strong, grab another goal, and that's exactly what we've done. Tealing up now, and there's only one team that's going to be winning this from here, I'd imagine. Beautiful play for Nugent. I wanted him to do well when he came in. He's had an average start, but he took that chance really well. Not a powerful finish, but just to the side of the keeper. And we are cruising now, I'd imagine. Get in there. Still going. Oh, no, it's not still going. It's half-time now. 2-0 up there. The thing you sent off really early on. A man sent off really early on. O'Neill, I think it was, after literally just two minutes since then. They've still had a bit of a threat and they're keeping the ball well, but they're not doing too much with it when they're keeping it. And we've just been clinical for a change. We've taken chances well. And since I put it onto attacking, we've uh, really asserted ourselves well on this game. I think they've probably still had... Oh, no, I thought we'd do it. They'd have still had more shots. You can see they've still had more possession. But as long as they're doing nothing with it, we're safe. 2 0 up, we should be able to uh, cruise to the finish now. Fingers crossed. Let's jump into the second half. Ah, oh, it's great play. Don't concede now. They have, they've scored, we have, sorry, they've scored. I said before they've started a threat and they haven't done much with the ball when they've had it, but that time they were really positive with the ball and just ran at us and the 1-2 between the two attackers and he sweated it across for the finish, but uh, hopefully we can still hold on to this. I hope I haven't spoke too soon when I said it was going to be a cruise to the finish and yeah, a bit of pressure now again. As long as we don't give the, way, the ball too sloppily, I don't mind at this point. That's great football though. Bit of fortune. Ah, shot was curled away. Unlucky. Where's that pace down the line? He is. 
That's oh, really well played to be fair to the lad. Tapping for someone. Ah, oh, no one there quick enough. So there it is, full time. We do make it through the Capital One uh, Cup that round. I'm not sure what round that was, but uh, we beat Norwich 2-1. They had 10 men for pretty much the entirety of that game, but they still had a bit of a threat, and that's a worry, really. Uh, we did deserve to win in that day, but it just shows that I'm still not fully used to this Leicester City team. But a win's a win, and that's uh, two in the last two episodes, and we were unlucky against United, really. Well, we weren't that unlucky, but we are improving still, and hopefully we can work our way into this team and just keep on getting better and better. But... Um, We'll have a look at the league table and all that kind of stuff now, and it'll be the end of the episode, so I'll see you on that screen. So you can see there, everyone, we haven't actually changed positions at all, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we were 16th at the start of the episode, although Newcastle have got a game in hand over us, so they could go above us, obviously. But the next game we've got is against Crystal Palace, and that will be in the next episode, like I say. They're not doing too badly at all, as you can see up there in third place. But fingers crossed we can take something off them and keep on adding up our points tally. Obviously, 40 is the target, because that's what is... Uh, Normally enough to keep you up and hopefully we can get some more towards it and keep chipping away. But um, thanks for watching again everyone. I shall speak to you in the next episode. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Ninja. Yes! Get in there. 2-2. 80th minute. Let's get the winner now please. Well played Jamie Vardy.